Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with exercise 3a of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page number 74 and the question is number 26. And this question is very similar to 25. So it, just, it reads, A bird flies out of a tree exactly 5.6 metres directly above a hunter's gun and flies a constant speed of 28 metres per second in a horizontal direction. If the speed of the bullets from the gun is 35 metres per second, and the gun is fired just as the bird leaves the tree, show that the angle of projection must be inverse tan three quarters if the bullet is to hit the bird. So let's just sketch the motion again on our velocity time diagram. So we know that the bird flies horizontally 5.6 meters above the, uh, the hunter. Now I know, look, I know that I'm drawing distances in on this and this shouldn't be the case, but just bear with me, okay? So say the bird is up there and he's flying at what speed? Is this? What speed is it? Twenty-six, twenty-eight meters per second. So the, the bird is flying at a ridiculously high pace, but on it, twenty-eight. So, all right, we'll say that's twenty-eight. Whatever it is, in up there, and we're firing a projectile up at him like this. All right, and the question is, at what what is the condition of when the bullet hits the bird? Now, if you look at it, the the question, the condition is that I know if we drew a distance, a distance graph, but on the distance graph, the distance along the x and the distance along the y are equal. So s sub x is equal to s sub x, and s sub y is equal to s sub y for the bird and the bullet. So that's that. So let's go ahead and do this. Now, I'm going to be slightly. Um, I wouldn't say it's going to skip steps, but I'm going to assume that at this stage you're kind of you're kind of pushing on and you know exactly what I'm going to be doing. This is after all the second last part of this chapter or this, this exercise. So I'm going to say bullet and bird. Alright. So what do we know? What do we know about this? Well I'm going to take there and I'll pull out my biro. If we resolve the vectors as we've done about a hundred times this age we want to get the following for the bullet. It's going to be 35 cos alpha i plus 35 sine alpha j. That's what that's going to be u. You can't see that. That's u. Okay. Next, we're going to need v. Um, Oh, sorry, well, that's, that's the total thing there, so therefore u sub x is equal to 35 cos alpha. And we know that s sub x is equal to ut plus a half at squared, which is going to give us 35 cos alpha t. s sub y is going to be equal to 35 sine of alpha t minus or plus excuse me half g t squared all right and for the bird we're going to get s sub x is equal to u sub x times t is equal to 28 t and s sub y is equal to 5.6 okay so there are the conditions uh, or they're the, the pieces we know, and we know of course that s sub x here should be equal to s sub x here, and so should s sub y. So I'm going to take it with the x direction first. Alright, if we take it with the x direction first, we should be able to get out something pretty pretty quickly. So we know that s sub x, uh, burden bullet, <laughs> bullet, I suppose, u, well, I'm going to write bull is equal to s sub x bird. Therefore, 35 cos alpha t, 28t, cancel the t's, cos alpha is equal to 28 over 35. Okay, so 28 over 35 uh, is, what else can we do with that? Uh, 28 over 35. 7, does that, 7, um, let me think, if I divide that by 7, I'm going to get 4 over 5 for cos, yeah, that's that's good, 
Yeah, that's good. So if we draw, just sketch our triangle here where this is alpha, cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. So if we do a Pythagoras, we'll find that's 3. Therefore, a sine is equal to 3 fifths, and 10 is going to be uh, 10 is going to be 3 quarters. Alright, so we can see 10 is opposite over adjacent here, 3 quarters. So that's part 1 done, and that was pretty straightforward. So to rub out these calculations here. The next part, of course, is to work out S sub Y equal to S sub Y. So we're going to say this. I'm going to use my red. So S sub Y of bullet is equal to S sub Y of bird. So we're going to have 35 times the sine of alpha times t plus a half gt squared is equal to 5.6. But we know, of course, that sine alpha was, excuse me, equal to 3 fifths. So that's 35 times 3 over 5 times t minus 4.9 t squared is equal to 5.6. And that goes in there, 7 times, 7 threes, 21, 21t, minus 4.9t squared, equals 5.6t to the naught. So let's rearrange that. Remember, a polynomial has powers. The highest power is its degree. This is degree 2, and we call it degree 2 a quadratic. The formula for finding the roots of a quadratic equation are, is, excuse me, like that. So we're going to use that formula as normal. So it's going to be minus times minus 21 plus or minus something over 9.81. So b squared minus 4ac, so that's minus 21 squared minus 4, 4.9, 5.6. It's a positive number, square with that, get 18.2. Which of course, this is going to give us two positive numbers. Uh, so it's going to be 18.2 plus 21 divided by 9.81. Going to give me 4 and 21 minus 18.2 divided by 9.81 and 0 0.3. Are those correct? Now just give me a second here. Zero point three. So both those times are correct. So the bullet will hit the bird after 0 0.3 seconds and 4 seconds. Why is it 2 times? Why will hit the bird twice? Well, look, if the bird, if that's the bullet's path, and that's the bird's path there, look, they'll meet two times here. Well, of course, the bird would have, would have been shot here when it fallen down, but that's that. That's why you have, you're after getting two times. Now, what's the, is there a second part of the question? Uh, time taken for the bullet to reach the bird. No, that's that. Okay, that's, that was pretty straightforward. Thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.